Okay, starting again. Hello, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This is Conarian. So I did some searching around, and I didn't actually read the walkthrough. Because what I have discovered is that there is a ton of optional stuff that you can miss out on on Canarium. I believe you're supposed to go through this game at least two times to get everything. And, like, to, if you're achievement hunting. Uh, I'm also not near the end of the game. <laughs> so, alright, continuing on the night, the night uh, I got a couple of hints by sort of glancing over uh, this part of the walkthrough. Because I do want to solve some puzzles myself. There we go. Let's go ahead and kill the music and jump back into the game. So... I'm pretty sure this is going to be important, but also, I'm supposed to stare at this or something? Yeah, okay. Hmm. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? I found a secret. Okay, okay. I was hoping it was important to the actual completion of the game. The big question now is, if I finish this game, should I go through it a second time to collect everything? Uh, I mean, it's not a bad game, even though the, uh, the grammar has been driving me nuts. Okay. I was hoping to be able to grab that thing again. Clearly not. But there is something else. This thing right here. That's right, I just ran through those ivories. Because this thing can be charged up to burn through ivy. With that known. We can now use it to burn through this ivy over here. Okay. Progress. Eh, I thought I could. Oh, um, shoot. Ah, that's useful. This is feeling more and more like Stargate. Pretty clear what we gotta do here. Zigzag down, zip zidu. Mm. 
neat. Uh, I just got an achievement. Uh, sharp as attack. Stone elevator. Very mist-like. If you plan a second playthrough, maybe jump cut to hidden stuff. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Depends on how much I like the story. Which depends on how good it ends. Even if it's one of the multiple endings. Which I don't know if there are multiple endings. But there's a lot to collect. Further down we go. Yes, we do. I got another achievement. Carved catacombs. Look at something real quick. The fact that drawings has its own tabs means that we probably missed something somewhere. Got to hand her to him for the atmosphere of the catacombs. There we go. A mist waterfall. These will keep the dwarves happy. I played one game where they had a tab for two items, so you never know. Hmm. Are you sure you didn't miss something? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sure, you you know what you're talking about. I don't know. There might be a thing where, like, he sketches the plant or something. It could be as simple as that, which is honestly what I think of when I think of the multiple tabs. I could have taken a closer look at the. Uh... Whew, I had to rock walk through, but eh, S spoilers aren't fun in a game like this. Good to have some exploration. Can I knock that down? Oh yeah! Do we need to come here? I don't know. Let's do it anyway. Ah, secret. I have found the birthing pool. That uh, that thing has a big old frown on its face. I don't know if I like that. Are ye Yigian? Oh. This is my hole. It was made for me. One of those games? What? One of those? What? This is in context of something I said like more than 10 seconds ago, so I'm not even sure what it's a reference to. But let's look through the set. Uh, ooh. Can destroy? No, not this time. Okay, when they say catacombs, they actually mean that this is these are the halls of the dead. Beautifully ornate metallic mask with a reptilian face carved onto it. It does not indicate anything about the purpose it served on in its day. Treasure. A 
kind of game that changes things subtly or has bugs. So far, I honestly haven't seen any bugs. Not even with the physics engine. That says something. I have seen some pretty lousy grammar. But... Not, not bugs, not really. And plenty to explore here, which is the part of the game that I really adore. I like to explore. Only bug with the, uh, the grammar engine. <laughs> Oh, I thought those were boots. The way ahead is blocked by this curious, curious vegetation. vegetation. I don't suppose this is... No. no. I need to charge this up. Strangely, plants react to this object when it glows brightly. They're, they're clearing the way. I'm lost! Okay. Uh, did I come from this way, though? I think I came from this direction. Is this new? Oh, no! Guys? <laughs> this doesn't look familiar. <laughs> oh, this is the elevator. Okay, I got turned right around. Okay, okay, I'm getting a handle back on where I am now. So that's the ivy I need to get through. What about this? Okay, this is just the way back up to the balcony area, which means this is new. We gotta get these started up again so I can... That's just ambient noise. How's uh, how's everybody doing? How are you? We how are all you normal people doing? Left or right? Right actually looks like it goes somewhere. Okay, that's just goes around the circle. Just being normal and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's all be normal. Let's all love Lane. Hoping that would have cleared it up, but I guess not. Um, oh no, I've. I, have I just circled back on myself? Yes. No. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, I was just here.
Every now and then on different discords, I like to drop the present day, present time, ha 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 ha, uh, video. And, uh, and see who recognizes it and who, who doesn't. And I did that recently. And of course, my, my imagination immediately went to everybody chanting, Let's all love Lane! Let's all love Lane! Let's all love Lane! I'm a geek. Hey, I thought this is like deep underground. Where's all this snow coming from? At one point, does uh, it stop snowing? Uh, uh, yes. It is depicted here. Our gateway out of this world. Oh, Jesus. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium. The thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible. Uh, 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 and the other one depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet or maybe out of this dimension. <laughs> My, this is just marvelous. My god! It's full of stars. I will admit, this is kind of frightening. Like, I don't know why this unnerves me right here. Ah, not the turtle. Tibby! Tibby! Ah, here we go. Go ahead. Yeah, that kind of goes with that. Kind of goes with that. Just sliding up. No ice this time, though. Good. I need this to slip this way. Okay. We got it. Yeah, if you haven't seen Serial Experiment Lane, uh, Lightning Hound, uh, don't worry that it's an anime. Worry that it's really dense and hard to get through. Uh, it is good. Okay, I guess I'll go this way. What? Oh. I can't bear the pain anymore. What a ridiculous uh, thing to say. You don't... You don't get the choice of whether you can or can't bear the pain. You just... Are in pain. It's ridiculous. It's as if you had a choice. Like, what are you gonna do? Kill yourself? Oh. oh my god, it's Radical Larry. Wait, no, don't take that guy. I need him. Oh shit, you're, you're summoning all of them. Um. Oh, time to go. Summon Oh boy. Oh boy. Isn't that the thing for Harry Potter? Like maybe. Somewhat humanoid in form, blah blah blah. We've read this. Um Okay. Okay. 
like taking the left path. Got a plan. I don't know if it'll work. Oh shit. Okay, I thought I could turn the light towards them. Uh, I am not allowed to pull up my inventory, so I can't get an axe. What? Two of them? Hey, you found your way into the Nameless City. Yeah, sure. Wait a second. No, it isn't. In the Nameless City, all the lizard folk and everything were like half human height. These things are taller than a human. Okay, let me think. What's a good way to do this? Ah, darn it. I was hoping walking backward would be a nice thing. Okay. Well, fuck you. I'm going to get a head start on you. So, I got another plan. I'm going to circle around. And we'll see what happens. you're doing that. What? What? This part specifically influenced the catacomb level in RLDR. So, Conarium had influenced you. what I'm getting. Okay. Let's try the direct route. You just keep on doing what you're doing. I'm just going to push through elevator. Are you kidding me? It's not letting me pass this? Well, it kind of is. I don't even know what happened there. What do you think of the game? On It's got your style of grammar. Loki can attest, I went off on the grammar a, an hour or two ago. Okay. Ideally, we want a route that we can run through that doesn't pass by a body. We're trying to bypass four different people. We follow the far right. Once we get to this point, we can head... Uh, keep following the right wall. I think pretty much you keep following the right wall. That's the trick. And you run like the Dickens. Okay, let's give it a try. that way. I can hear him behind me. I'm not going to look. Why am I slowing down? I think you 
focus too much on that stuff, to be honest. Also, the game makes stylistic decisions when it comes to grammar a lot, so you see the only English mixed with modern English. Also, you can't pretend that Lovecraft had perfect grammar. He did! He just had terrible ideas of what to do with it. <laughs> and actually, I, I made that case that Lovecraft's grammar was also pretty harsh. But as I've made uh, earlier on, although you weren't here for it, um, the thing that makes the grammar stand out is that it is surrounded by good grammar elsewhere. And the thing that makes me think the problem is with the grammar of the journals is that everybody, every character, has the same bad grammar. Huh. So, is this impossible? Because I was slowing down as I reached the, um... As I reached this point. So there's a stamina system, yeah? That's what's going on? I don't remember how I beat this. It's definitely not impossible. I won Coronium, or, uh, Caneronium, uh, Corona, Corona-chan. You won Corona-chan? Nope, not that way. Okay, let me see. So... Turn. This game is called Caronium. Wait, is that the name of the game? Man, I've been getting it wrong all this time. Okay, it's a stamina system. I just have to figure that out. Yeah, I think it's just a run around. Or. Okay, let's try another route. I tried this before, didn't I? I forgot that I did. So the best path is the wide path, <clears throat> but I run out of stamina before I can reach the doorway. It did get me the furthest, though. Let's try that again. have to take a certain path to get out I'm pretty sure you pay attention to where they pop up and level out le the level layout the level layout is not difficult there are three paths a left a middle and a right that all collide towards the uh, path that goes to um, that one had not hat they always pop out in the same places 
I don't know if that's true because earlier I had uh, I had done this and gotten further along taking that same path that I just now took. I think they follow you. Maybe I'm running too fast. They also know when to redirect if you're too far. Okay. So let's take the rightmost path. Let's wait for a second. And I don't know. Yeah, that should be enough. Continue taking the rightmost path. At this point, it triggers second one. So there should be no one in this hallway. Huh. Huh. So the middle hallway slows me down so the guy will catch up with me. So it's not the middle hallway. I can try taking the left hallway this time and try to circle around clockwise instead. All right, let's give that a try. You're going to have to not follow the same direction the whole time. That's impossible. There's only three paths. This layout is not difficult. Wait, what do you mean same direction? I'm not going the same direction. I'm circling around. That's at least, you know, 306 degrees of different direction. Whoop. Okay, so that doesn't work, and I'm slowed down, so we should probably catch up with Yep, we caught up. 306 degrees is the same direction. That's not... what? Okay, the, I mean, that's just a point of phrase because there is no 360 degree. It goes to zero. It goes, it goes 359 and then it switches to zero degrees. How many radiants? How many radiants? Um, two pi radians. Ah! See, now you're talking my language. That's somewhere between six and seven. The same lap slash loop. Hmm. What's another one? I could try circling out to the right and then taking the immediate left zigzag of it. What does that mean, zigzag? There's nothing to zigzag. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. There's this way through, this way through, and this way through. Oh. Okay, I want to avoid this place because it slows me down. So, what about taking the middle path, veering right? The idea is to get everybody, because there's going to be four of them, right? Now, that's not too much different than taking the right path. I can try it anyway. See, now you nitest, nit, nitest, nitiket. 
but the zigzagging that causes an in interesting issue. We'll go this way. Nope, that's the way I don't want to go. So I have to go around this way. And I do run out of stamina, I found. Once I run out of stamina, that's it. So I need to take a break somewhere in the middle. So let's try this real quick. Dry run. Okay, middle path. Take a right. Take a left. At about here, I start getting tired because you can hear him panting. And then pick up again. And there's that panting again, so I gotta take a small break and then pick up again. Alright, let's give it a try. That didn't work. They were waiting for me there too. So they're not going by normal logic, like by what they can see. They know where I am at all times. So now the question is, how do I lure them down one side of the hallway long enough but not so long that they pincer, get, get me caught in a pincer move. Hmm. Give me a second. Does the blue light work? I could try that. Okay. Let me try two things. Good, I have it. Whoop, that's the wrong button. I was looking up the walkthrough. But in all honesty, it says to do what I was trying to do and failed at. Okay. There we go. So if this doesn't work, like if it puts the goddamn thing away during the cutscene or I can't pull it out again, I got another plan. Okay, it did put it away. So, 
What do you guys think of this? Nothing. Okay, so the blue light didn't do anything. I'm gonna bull rush the guy. Get him! Get him! I'm clicking on him. I'm clicking the fuck out of him. Yeah, the enemy model is actually pretty good. I... Why is it gonna load each time? Is it... Like... That's a weird thing, right? It's not just me. So, I've been spending, what, 20 minutes trying to figure this out? I don't know, man. Is this really what the stream is going to be? Is just me trying to run away from these guys over and over again? You don't remember how long it took you. That's not a good sign. Of course, it's probably been a couple of years since you've played this. Because it's easier to refresh the whole level than figure out if, what things you've changed. What can I change? I don't affect anything. I don't know. Let me try the lure one more time. But the thing is, is that I don't think they're all going down this way. I think they're staying here for a while. And I know this going down the middle way isn't right, because as soon as I pop around here, while this guy is coming to life, I'm slowing down and everybody else is crowding around me. What if I don't do anything? Like, what if I just stand perfectly still? Like, hear me out on this one. I got a theory. I don't know if it's true. I'm willing to die one more time to try it out. Different from pulling out the crystal. The game is worth beating, Grim. Uh, I don't know what you think of me to assume that I would give up on the game. <laughs> that worries me more, man. <laughs> nope. Okay, so that did nothing. So, the only thing that I could do is try to lure them on one side or the other. I don't think the left side is a good is a good side to lure them on. Because if I come around on the other side of the right side, then they'll just pile on from three directions instead of two, right? Let's hit the game with a stick. I mean, yeah, it's, it's got to be a metaphorical stick, but I, I, can do, I can do that. allowing me to run whenever things get all glitchy and shit. So, let's lure you this way first. Give it a couple of seconds until I see you. Why do I not see you? Where are you guys?
Okay, I've slowed down at this point. Well, that's just not fair. Oh, hey, I did it. All these must be the products of my disordered imagination and nothing more. There we go. Okay, let's figure out where I'm going. I think I'm going to the left. Yeah. Move, vines, get out the way. Progress! Hip hip huzzah. Thank you. I deserve that. Let's close this now before I need it. Yeah, in, uh, in the Nameless City, these guys were smaller. I think this has more to do with Mountains of Madness than the Nameless City. Because so far, this is very much fitting with the descriptions of the uh, Elder Thing City. The artwork is pretty intense. Like, it's really good. Yo, Elder Thing. Soup. Try this way. That is pretty cool, what they do so far. I, I am not getting a horror vibe, except in a couple of cases it feels more like adventure. Oh. Oh. Okay. Horn. An ancient musical instrument with elaborate ornaments that are reptilian in nature. It still looks playable. Was that a treasure? I like how it's going down on the screen like it's going like it's about to unzip my pants. Oh hey. There are multiple endings. Yep. I've already missed out on quite a bit. I don't know if anybody reads this, or if there is anyone still alive out there. Reads? I, I've lost everybody who was on my search party. I am alone and afraid. Even from the out-of-place echoes of my own footsteps that are reverberating along these halls of ages-long silence. It is hard to tell if I am alive anymore. Those visions, sounds, the, the devilish scenes described in the release I come across every uh, now and then. We were not meant to be here. Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust, are you there? Answer me, please! Sounds like he's not seeing any lizard ghosts. Hey, I got a theory. Alright, so we saw the horn that was made out of a lizard tail. Uh, I think that's because lizard tails come off normally, right? And they just hollowed one out. Tenabulations of the bells, bells, bells. 
Uh, an ornate sacrificial dagger, wholly intact and still amazingly sharp, even if after all these years of desolation, the elaborate carving on the curious metallic surface is signifying a reptilian nature. You don't say. Let's just take that, put that in my pants. Don't remember that happening? There's a lot of optional stuff in this game, so... So, if you only play through it once, one thing that I have discovered from the walkthrough is you can only get everything from multiple playthroughs. Uh, at least two, is my guess. Hearing problems. Ah, well, let me use my flashlight. tail thing fun value? No. It's more of what choices you make. Are those legs? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. Yeah? Um, this isn't very much like my dream. Uh, Dr. Dr. Faust, I have questions. Uh, what the fuck? Where am I? That would be the first one. Waiting, I'm going to pour me the last of my tea. Undertale had a fun value thing? Yes, it did. Fairly well known. <gasps> hey! Uh, Dr. Mouse, <laughs> look behind you! The sun is exploding again! Is that a sheer delusion? Uh, no, that was a pretty opaque delusion. I just got a, an achievement. Demons of the past. So, this is a good place to save a game. I have, what, 44 slots to save in? Let's go ahead and... The mansion. Yeah, let's save here anyway. Sure, it's only a couple of seconds behind, but it's still there. I, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, yeah. For YouTube, this will only be a break until the next uh, next portion. But for stream, stick around. Uh, in any case, uh, that's it for Conarium tonight. All right. Forty-four is an odd number. Yeah, I'll get into the the fun value later. Although I won't play, uh, and don't even ask, I won't play Undertale. Their fans are way too toxic to do that publicly. That's something that you need to do in private if you want to stay out of trouble. 
All right. Let's go ahead and call it good on YouTube, and I will see you.